Hello, welcome to another video. Good morning and welcome. We are here on day four yes. for the Tracy Arm and Juno Day. So the yes. Tracy Arm, that route we woke up at, uh, I woke up around approximately 4.45. Uh, that route started approximately five o'clock and um, it was a beautiful route. Yeah, so basically if you don't know what that is, you just stay on the ship and you're kind of going through fjords, if that's how you properly pronounce that, and they're stunning and beautiful. And then at the very end, you get to a glacier. You can't get too close to the glacier. We're on one of the smaller ships and even still we couldn't get too close to the glacier. It's for everyone's safety and the safety of the, <laughs> of the glacier really. Um, so you get to see that for a bit and then the ship kind of turns around 180 degrees and then you go back out so it takes about two hours going in yep. and then another two hours going out so it's a four hour round trip journey and then you have a bit of time before you get to juno so yeah that was just an absolutely stunning trip there were waterfalls there were icebergs in the water small ones nothing scary there were um, some wildlife. We saw a little otter. It was just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. Everything that you haven't just seen already from us talking is going to be inserted now with some hopefully lovely nature music. <laughs> so here you go. Alright guys, so now we are in Juno officially. It is going to be a very fun and spectacular day because we have a very special excursion booked. Yes. We have a helicopter tour of several glaciers. Yes. As well as the, I think, what is going to be the highlight of this trip. It is a dog sledding, walking tour on, on a, glacier. a glacier. Yeah. So we booked this not through Royal Caribbean, we booked this through Alaska Shore Excursions, I think is what it's called. I will link them in the description down below. We're so excited for this tour. Hopefully the weather's gonna cooperate. It seems beautiful outside, so we shouldn't have any problems with the helicopter tour, but we are so excited for this. Yeah, so we're gonna try to show as much as possible. Yes. All right, um, so it might be a little bit of uh, the camera, a little bit of the GoPro, and then, when is when all is said and done we will talk about it yeah all right so come along with us all right we just got off we are here in juno alaska it's a it's warm it's a very beautiful day <laughs> it is warm it's like almost 80 degrees but we're going on a glacier so we have to dress for that <laughs> yes and then we can dress accordingly for later except i didn't bring a change of clothes I but did. you did <laughs> So I don't know if you could see, but we docked in the AJ dock, the AJ terminal. So our tour specifically says that if you dock in the AJ terminal, you have to come over here and take this shuttle. It's $5 per person. So then once you buy your tickets, we go in this line here. Shuttles depart every 10 to 15 minutes or um, until everyone is on. So I don't think we're gonna make the first shuttle, but if we do, that would be amazing. We are just heading around downtown to look for just a quick bite to eat really fast before 
we head on the helicopter. I'm just getting a quick snack from this coffee shop because there's really nowhere to get food. We are waiting to board our helicopter. This is so exciting. We did our safety briefing and sort our luggage, I guess for lack of a better word. Oh, there's a plane. There's a whole entire plane about to take off. Here's us. We have silly boots on. They're so silly. So silly. We're on the helicopter. We're on the helicopter. So this is our adventure to the glacier where we were going to do some dog sledding and this dog sledding is really special because the company does not breed these dogs for dog sledding. Rather these are Iditarod athlete dogs that their owners rent out to keep them in shape for the season while they're on their off season. And while we were in the helicopter it was so much fun but it was a little bit hard to film. So this was my first time in a helicopter, and at first it was a bit scary. But after a couple minutes of riding around, it was truly fun and amazing. I love these breathtaking views. I really wanted to spend as much time in the air as possible, but what goes up must eventually come down. I love the cinematic description, Brandon. And our pilot did a really good job making everyone feel comfortable and joked around saying that this was his first time flying a helicopter, which was funny. And here we are now arriving at our destination. So exciting. Ah, this is so cool. We are literally standing on a glacier right now. The Hubert Glacier. It's beautiful. These are our feet on the glacier. Ah! I can't believe it. I, 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 it's loud, but it's beautiful. They're leaving us here. We're just walking to our sled. Oh, look at all the friendly friends. They're so cute. Claire is so happy. These dogs are all leased from their owners for the summer. They are not owned by the company. That's so interesting to me. Hi puppies. These are just people's doggies. Here are our dogs. They're very excited to get going. She said that they hate to stop. They just love to run. And this is basically, you know, what they were born to do. <laughs> They're going nuts. Here is our sled. Brandon said he wants to start standing up, so he's going to start standing up, and I'm going to be in the chair in front of him. <laughs> One group is already off to go. We are off. You can kind of see the doggies ahead, but we're in the back right now. We're just kind of getting started. In case anyone forgot, we're dog sitting on a glacier right now. This is so cool. Wee! <laughs> Beta! Wee! Wee! This is the most craziest experience of my whole life. Our doggy friends here can run over a hundred miles a day fairly easily. They're in great shape. We're at our first stop, so that means we can hang out with the doggies. Hello, doggies. Hello, cutie pies. Hello. <laughs> are you covered in snow? Are you covered in snow? Oh, no. Are you good for us? No. They need to cool off because it's a bit warm today. These doggies usually do a thousand mile races. That's crazy. Today. Thank you so much for your help, puppies. Thank you so much. You're so beautiful. 
You're so beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you for driving us. Oh, hello. Hello. We switched up, so I get a front row seat this time. Woohoo! <laughs> they are ready to go. This is so fun. Good job, friends. This is so crazy. <laughs> They're so good. These dogs can pull three times their weight. It's just gorgeous. Are you guys taking such a good well deserved break? Such a good puppies. How was that snow? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, I get to cry. We switched out. We we did it in the front. We're in the back now. This is so so amazing. I love this. I can't even believe it. Tour is coming to an end, so we're thanking our buddies. Thank you. Alright, so we are about to go on the red tram car up to see what's up there and then hopefully we'll have time to go to the Mendenhall Glacier as well. We will be passing through an Alaska temperate rainforest, which averages 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of... The Sitka Spruce gets its name from a Clinket Island called Shiatika Hot. It has since been changed to Baranoff Island. It's the state tree of Alaska. Don't put any of your valuable items outside of those windows. So at the top of the tram, there is a gift shop with some supposedly authentic Alaskan gifts, things made by native Alaskan people. I'm not finding what I just said to be true. Almost everything in here is mass produced, made in China or something like that. Like there's not a lot of natively made things or art in here at all. I'm a bit confused. I feel a bit misled. I Maybe we're in the wrong section. I'm gonna keep looking around. There is a section that is made in Alaska, handmade gifts. Much better. They have some very beautiful jewelry here. I really like this necklace right there. A lot of really pretty stuff. This stuff is made from Alaskan whalebone. That's interesting. This beadwork is beautiful. And the uh, view is also lovely. We're looking for the Raptor Center now. It really is quite a nice view from up here. There is a small restaurant up here. It actually smells pretty good. You just order at the bar. But that's pretty much it. The Raptor Center apparently doesn't exist right now. <laughs> They're doing renovations or something. They're not here. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but I I don't know. We spent $45 a person, so $90 to come up here, and the only thing here really is this restaurant and a gift shop, so I wouldn't do this. Uh, if you can help it, the view is nice, but um, I don't think it's really worth it. Very sunny beautiful day. Views for days. The Ark people are from this side of the bridge, in the village site called Flounder at the base of the creek. 
and the Taku people are from the other side, called where the sun rays touch first. <laughs> Update, there is for some reason no way to get to and from the glacier at this point. Um, there are lifts available, but they're like $45, and once we're there, we might not be able to get back in time, so... Um, a little risky yeah it's too risky we're not gonna do it which is fine we did see it uh, from our ship and we also saw it from the helicopter so that's fine we're gonna find somewhere to eat maybe do some shopping and not risk missing our ship so that just means we'll have to come back and do the glacier some other time which is fine and we walked on the glacier earlier today so I don't think we lost I really don't care. I'm gonna do a George Strait song. Anyway. I discovery 20 years ago here in Alaska. I know when you say the word Alaska. Pretzel salad and a chicken sandwich with some potato salad. Stopping in for dessert. Got myself some ice cream and fudge. Goodbye, Juno. Hello, Serenade of the Seas. All right, coming back into our room. Look what we got here. It's an alley specifically for Julia. Look at how beautiful the Ellie friend is. I love his eyes. Very nice. Also, the cruise compass for a uh, day at sea. We got the Hubbard Glacier. And more on that later. Until next time, Juno, we will see you again. Alrighty, friends, we are back in the room. I was able to take a quick shower, um, but we have dinner in about uh, 10 minutes, so let's do a quick wrap-up to the best of our ability. Yes, what a day it was today in Juno. That excursion we went on was nuts. Highly, highly, highly recommend that. It was just, it was, it was crazy. It's definitely pricey. We paid around five hundred and sixty dollars per person for that. Yeah. But honestly, I, I would recommend it. It feels very special. It's, it's quite intimate. There's not a lot of people there. You get a helicopter ride. You get to walk on a glacier, and you get to do the dog sledding. So it's really a lot of things all in one. So great. They also have transportation to and from, and they said that they would drop you off anywhere you want afterwards we actually did have trouble with that we told them where uh we needed to go and then they forgot so then we weren't able to get to where we wanted to go which is why we never got to go to the mendenhall glacier but it's fine we still ended up having a great day um and it was just unreal yeah what did you think so um T just talking about that excursion it was it was truly spectacular it was breathtaking um i loved the helicopter ride it was so much fun um the dog sledding I, I just can't put into words hopefully that came through the camera to you guys because it was very special it was it, it, it's something like you just said i i truly recommend that you yeah. try to do if you're able to do it yes. um and about the dog sledding our day it was really hot so i was wearing a lot of layers i couldn't really tell the temperature but it was probably around 72 degrees um so it was warm so it made the snow very mushy so we had about 12 dogs usually there are only three to four dogs on the uh using the dog sled and it's faster and slippier because it's ice so um because it was mushier conditions they had more dogs so it would be easier for them to do the sled but these dogs are insanely talented like they're just they're athletes really they said they have one dog 65 pound dog who can pull 600 pounds by itself they don't make it do that <laughs> but it was in a weight pulling competition i think back home like with its original owner and had done that so i just that's nuts yeah so <laughs> After that, we, uh, because of the little mix-up, uh, we kind of drove around for about 10 minutes and then got dropped off. We did that um, Skyway up, 
Yeah. Um, I didn't really enjoy that. Uh, it was one, it was expensive. Two, I have a, a, a bad fear of heights and it just didn't feel safe to me. There was a lot of people in it. We were really jam packed like uh, sardines. I just personally didn't like it. And then um, there were supposed to be activities and stuff once you got all the way up. And I don't know what happened, but there was not much to do as you saw. So yeah. I would not recommend that to a friend. Luckily, we were able to end the day on a very high note on the Red Dog Saloon. Yes, that the, place was so funny. <laughs> the food was great. The music and entertainment was awesome. Um, I really liked that. I don't even know if we, we showed it. I, I got an Alaskan uh, beer. Yeah, I did not show it. I did not show oh, it. Oh no, we didn't show it. I got an Alaskan beer. Uh, it was it was a uh, I think it was described as a crisp uh, summer brew or something. Summer uh, ale. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was delicious. I could have gotten um, like two or three of them. They were so good. Yeah. All right. Um, and then how could we forget the Tracy Arm? route this yes. morning oh my gosh i can't even believe that was today i i think we <laughs> we talked about that we right? did we yeah. did so today was just a jam-packed day but now we're gonna go to dinner because yeah. uh, dinner is in about five minutes so we're gonna head over to dinner and then hopefully we can catch a show or some form of entertainment before bed tonight but still come along because we still got a lot more to show you guys here on the serenade of the seas or at least a little bit more <laughs> I got a Greek salad. I love that big chunk of feta in there. Here is the pork taco. Looks like it has uh, a bao bun on it. And again, the shrimp cocktail, which was very good yesterday. I got a pasta with pesto mm. sauce, roasted peppers, and regular peppers and onions. All right, here is the steak. It comes with the baked potato and some vegetables. So I see that tomato and asparagus. Quite a bit of oil in this pasta. Quite a bit. I got the apple blossom again because I'm boring, but I really like this. Oh, did you get the cherry dessert? I did. Oh, I wanted to try that. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> Dinner was fine, but service was unfortunately super slow tonight, so we missed everything. We missed the, not show, but I guess entertainment option that we were planning to do for tonight, so we're just going to go up to the solarium, refill our waters, and rest out there for a bit and enjoy the scenery. We are enjoying a fairly quiet and empty solarium right now. It is 10.15, and the sun is just starting to set over there. Friends, the day of days is finally over in a very sad way. But it was so good. It was it was an amazing day. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on today's adventure because we really enjoyed today. So with that, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys and royal caribbean vlogs and until the next video guys bye